be breaking down the exact London ICT strategy that has been taught by ICT himself. Now, I've sat through hours and hours of long ICT content to be able to actually take the most valuable points and break it down in this 10 minute video. And if you cannot sit through this 10 minute video, I guarantee that this career is not for you. Go back to your normal lifestyle, nine to five lifestyle, as this is not for you. Now, jumping straight into the video, this ICT strategy, which works in London Kill Zone, is amazing. It's the best strategy that could possibly get out there in terms of precision. Um, and every single concept that I'm going to mention in this video goes together so well. And it's there's a reason why it's a London session strategy only. As you guys know, the London session is always viable for the Judas Swing. Now, the Judas Swing is basically a liquidity grab, um, a liquidity sweep, as you could say. So, the London session, that's the exact role that ICT says it holds. So in this ses in this whole video, I'll be breaking down a whole strategy that you can follow mechanically, step by step. And I can guarantee you after this video, guarantee you that you will become profitable straight after watching this video and using these concepts only. So jumping straight into the video, guys. Um, we need to understand what pairs we can actually trade using the strategy. So personally, I like using uh, Euro USD, GBP USD, and gold okay these are my most three most favorite pairs now you can use it on indices and stuff like that but i don't want to overcomplicate this video stick to the basics sticks what ict says the best euro usd and gbp if you are sort of intermediate in trading um gold if you are sort of ready for the volatility because gold holds a lot of volatility now what else do we need to understand about this strategy we need to understand what time frames does this work on we're going to be using the 15 uh, minute time frame and the five minute time frame okay guys now what is the checklist that we need in order for this strategy to actually play out so first things first we need a liquid liquidity sweep not only that we need a market structure shift along with displacement and oh i don't know why that keeps happening And alongside that, we need an order block or a fair value gap and OTE. So I'll be breaking it all down for you guys. And remember what are the times that we're actually going to be trading it is going to be the London open kill zone. So this is the London session strategy. Now, what time is that? That is 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. Now, this I am referring this into New York timing. ICT, whenever he talks about timing, he's always referring to New York timing. So it's much easier for me to teach you in that exact same way. If you guys want to change your trade view time into New York timing, uh, simply just pull the time zone uh, button in the bottom right corner, change to UTC minus four New York. Now, jumping into the video, what does the strategy actually look like? So first things first, you need to mark out your London session. Now, I do use an indicator that I'll show you later on in this video um, that, in, uh, that allows you to just mark out your London kill zone straight away, or you can just do it manually. So for example, 2 a.m. to let's say this is 5 a.m., okay guys? So 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. is the London Open Kill Zone. Now, prior to your session, right, you have no bias or anything like that, okay, guys? So you have no bearing on what price is going to do. You simply just let price do whatever it wants, whether it wants to go up or down or sideways, okay? Let me just change this to black. Now, when your session does start, right, first things first, you need to mark out your liquidity. What is liquidity? We have a whole video on that in our channel. Um, I'm going to break it down shortly in this video. So simply most easiest things to mark out is just significant highs and lows um, that the market has been creating. So we can just mark that out on the 15 minute time frame. Okay, we're going to mark this out as liquidity. So we're going to buy side liquidity and we're going to have sell side liquidity. Now, first things first, just a little background and knowledge. What is above buy side liquidity? Sell stops. What is below sell side liquidity? Buy stops. So if buy side gets taken, we're looking for sales. If sell side gets taken, we are looking for buyers. Okay, guys, that's the most basic, basic um, rule of basically liquidity sweeps. Now, second things first. So you're just going to let your session start and you're just going to sit on your hands, waiting, 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 waiting for um, a liquidity sweep. So once your liquidity sweep has happened, what you're going to do is drop into the five minute time frame and seek a market structure shift along with displacement is very important important that you get displacement as well i'll explain on that in just a second so again market structure shift like so but remember we see how this low has been taken out we need a displacement candle alongside it we don't just want a market structure shift we need big bearish candle like this we need energetic candles not wicky little candles that take the low we need big energetic body candles okay that takes that low that's what displacement is now once we get that right 
we're going to draw our OTE from the high to the the current high to the current low okay guys now what is OTE guys this is my Fibonacci oh did not mean to click that um so these are my Fibonacci settings as you can see here if you guys want to copy that now OTE is going to be the 78.6 the 71 and the 61.8 area these three are OTE levels okay as you guys can see here these three are OTE levels above the 50%, okay? That is what you want to get your retracement to. This is what is going to give you the most precise entry possible. So you're gonna draw out your OTE and then within your OTE levels, guys, you need to have an order block or a fair value gap. Either one, I like personally choosing order blocks, but you can choose fair value gaps if you like fair value gaps. Now, once you've got that marked out, remember you need to anchor it on a low, not just a candle. You need to make sure it's a low. How do you know it's a low? Is when the swing point low, the previous candle and the candle after is above that swing point low, okay guys? So next things next, you're going to, let me get out uh, my path tool. You're then simply gonna wait for a retracement entry and then target opposing liquidity. And that is how simple this strategy is. I, I understand that you guys are already excited. Just by me explaining this should sound so basic to you. So simple, yet so profitable because there's so much knowledge behind this. And this is an exact strategy that ICT himself has said that is very, very, very profitable. And with this, only with this strategy, right? you can become profitable and not only that, get funded in multiple, multiple, multiple six figures of funding. Now, uh, before I actually share a live example, so I'm gonna share a live example in just a second with live charts, I want to mention that we have a free telegram in the link below, uh, totally free. We share loads and loads of trade breakdowns. I share my profits, uh, my payouts, um, I was recently in Dubai, which I just got back to. We share loads and loads of giveaways. Um, so many things that we share on our Telegram. So much free value, trade breakdown signals, you name it, everything's going to be there. And whoever comes from YouTube in celebration of my most recent payouts, we will be passing a profit for them for absolutely free. HFT passing for completely free. 50k, 100k, 200k account will be passed completely free for you guys. We also have a mentorship for literally 49.99. Can you even get lunch for that nowadays? I don't even think you can get lunch for that nowadays. And that's a lifetime access. And what you actually get in our mentorship, as you guys can see here, is a full strategy video. All of our concepts combined, a full strategy video. We have so many, so many um, signals getting put out into our mentorship. And it's so, so cheap, yet so valuable. So remember, do join our free telegram in the link below. So much value in that. And we can jump straight into the live. Um, set up video of the, of the video in the live example section of this video i'm going to be showing you guys a live example on live charts just so you guys can really get an understanding and a grasp of this amazing strategy now jumping straight into it, i want to show you guys this indicator that i use uh, it just marks out your london kill zone from 2 a.m to 5 a.m and it also marks out your uh, new york kill zone from 7 a.m to 10 a.m again this is new york timing if you guys did want to use this uh, indicator it is called KZ Boxes by David. Um, and these are my settings if you want to copy my settings and the colors and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, great indicator. It just means that you don't have to mark out the London session. It just does it for you, which is amazing. So start off on the 15 minute. Uh, you want to just before your London session starts. So what time is this? Uh, okay, this is a 2 a.m. candle. So we want to just go back one candle okay you want to mark out your liquidity areas again liquidity very easy to mark out just significant highs and lows basically uh, we can mark out this low and then not only that we can mark out this external high here and use this as buy side liquidity we can mark out our sell side liquidity the beauty of this um strategy is you don't have to be actively watching the charts simply mark out your liquidity and then just set alerts and then when buy side or sell side gets taken just actively come to the charts now uh, I like watching from the five minute purely based just I can see more data so I just like watching from the five minute it doesn't matter at all 15 minutes is just used to mark out your liquidity now let your London session start as soon as your London session starts is when you're actively um, waiting for a setup to occur as you can see the opening candle of this London session sweeps our sell side liquidity now what's under sell side liquidity buy stops so we are looking for buys okay so now we have identified that we are looking for buys what do we need to see in order for us to get by as a market shift with displacement? Okay, very important that we get displacement. So pad that sweep. Um, again, it can be a wick of a sweep or it can be body closes. It doesn't matter at all. Now, what we are looking for is a market structure shift, as you guys can see here. This is the high that needs to be um, actually broken through along with displacement. So I'm going to mark this out as white just so we guys don't think it's liquidity. And then we simply just wait for a market structure shift with displacement. Now, 
We've had our market share shift, but did we have displacement? Yes, we did. Why? Because we have big energetic body candles going through that high. Perfect. Market share shift and displacement met, which is amazing. Now, what do we wait for? We need an order block and a fair value gap, order block or a fair value gap alongside OTE. So what we want to do is anchor our um, fib levels from the low to a higher. So first of all, we need to under identify is this the swing high or not? So we simply wait. How do we understand if it's a swing high? Candle before and after will be below the swing point high. So let's just wait. Okay, that wasn't our swing high. Will this be our swing high? Yes, because the candles are before and after are just under that swing point high. So done. We've marked out now where, what do we have in our OT levels? This is our OT level 71.8, 71 and 78.6. Okay, guys. So do we have anything within here that we can actually look to execute on? Yes, we do. What do we have? We have a fair value gap. Amazing. So we actually do want it to touch the OT level. So we don't want to enter at the start of the fair value gap. We do want it to close fully. We do also have an order block here, which you guys can choose instead. Um, it's totally up to you guys what you like to use. I do personally like using order blocks. I feel like they're more probable. So we simply now just wait for a retracement in and bang, we get the retracement in. As soon as we get that retracement in is when you are looking to get an entry. Now you need your stop loss to be at just under the order block or under that 89% level or at this low totally uh, up to whatever you, makes you feel comfortable. I like having it just under that 89% level. And then we are just targeting um, internal liquidity. Again, just this high for a nice one to two, uh, one to three risk reward ratio. As you can see, that plays out to the T. We could have even gone for this whole external liquidity. But that's how easy this strategy is, guys. And I hope this video really did help you guys. Remember, do join our free Telegram in the link below. Uh, we share so, 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 so much free value, as you guys can see here. We share payouts, trade breakdowns, trade ideas. New videos are going to be coming out. Um, so many of my payouts. And remember, whoever comes through from YouTube, we will be passing a prop firm for them for absolutely free. 100K, 200K. We'll do it for absolute free in celebration of my payouts. So much free value in this Telegram. So do join in the link below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and it really helped you guys. But I promise you back test this. Use this in your um, trading next week. And I promise you you'll be, become profitable.